my bloating for my period is so bad that I can't even stand up straight or take a complete breath. It hurts in my diaphragm. Um, but also, how is it that I got down to 136 pounds and then the second I got my period, now I'm clocking in at at 144.4. Where does that come from? It's like in my diaphragm, you know? Like it... It feels like someone has a corset on me that's way too tight and I can't get a deep breath. Holy fuck. This doesn't even look that bad. But usually my abdomen is at the same as my hip bone right here. Oh my god, I need to lay down. But I don't understand how, where does that weight come from? How did I go from losing weight rapidly to gaining weight rapidly? Oh, oh fuck. I always think that I'm like actively having a baby. Like I need to do Lamaze breaths. I look fucked. I've got my cat and my hot bath on demand with the towel next to the toilet so I can go from the tub to the toilet to the tub. Thank God her nose is fucking broken. I just don't understand what is coming out of me. I really need to buy some period underwear because when I have anything inside, like a cup or a tampon, I need to remove it to be able to have a bowel movement. <sighs> Pads, I can't stand the feeling. So I usually just free bleed in the tub. I just marinate in my lack of fertilization fluid. And normally when I feel like this, I would just be posting 24-7. Like last night, crying my eyes out of my bed, I would go live so that I can be with other people who know what I'm going through. But I'm honestly so exhausted of people either saying that I'm fucking dramatic. Which like, wow, what a privilege to be able to think that. Or, and I know people mean well, but just like giving advice that I've obviously already has tried and failed because it like just kind of feels more discouraging you know it just reminds me that I've tried literally everything and nothing works so I haven't even really been posting about it you know when you get to those points where you're just like I quit this is just my life you just like accept it because the doctors just keep saying, like, you just need to accept that this is your life. So then you're like, okay. You, like, get numb psychologically to it. Every single time I get my period, and, like, endometriosis is only a conversation that I'm... Or something I've only even known about for like two years now. But I've always thought I was pregnant. Every time I thought I was having a period, I thought I was either going into labor or having a miscarriage. And everyone always just called me dramatic. I would take pregnancy tests every time I was on my period because I'm like, no, this time I am going to have a baby. And now looking into endometriosis and people saying that like their menstruation is as painful as childbirth, I'm like... I'm out of soup. So I need to cook something today, dude. I don't know how. I don't have the energy for that. Another thing I don't understand is that there's people in my comment section saying, I've had 
10 endometriosis surgeries in the last 15 years. And I'm like, how the fuck have I been going into hospitals and emergency rooms and doctor's offices and specialist clinic for 13 years and no one once has ever suggested that I could have endometriosis until the last ER doctor? What? People are out here getting surgery after surgery to get their endometriosis re removed and no one would even consider the fact that I had it in the first place. I mean, I get this is a problem that comes down to medical school and doctors just aren't taught about it, but like, what the fuck? And anyone I've talked to on my lives that says that they were able to get diagnosed or that it took them three years to get diagnosed, every time I ask them, what's your mental health history? What do they say? I don't have one. Yeah, that's why they believed you. Eventually, after three fucking years. <sighs> Who in our area is an endometriosis specialist? Because I've been watching all these endometriosis videos now, and there's a lot of endometriosis specialists who make videos in the fucking operating room about how... Like, this woman has had multiple laparoscopies. Every single gynecologist has said there's no endometriosis. And look, I just went in here and I found all of it. So, like, I don't want to fuck around and be getting no surgery to be told, no, you don't have endometriosis if there's not a trained per person in endometriosis that's looking for it. But that's probably going to take me about six to 7,000 years. Oh, I see the worms. You know? The squiggles. I just want to go to bed, but I can't sleep when it feels like my asshole's falling out. I'm really glad, though, that I got Botox in my brows because I can't frown now. Because usually, like right now, I'd be frowning. What the fuck do I have to do to get a lapros, laparos, it's not laparoscopy. La, la, laparoscopy, la, la, laparoscopy, laparoscopy, laparoscopy. My one cousin and my one aunt lost their uteruses to fibroids. That's what I know thus far. My asshole's falling out. Oh, another thing that I saw in a video yesterday is that it said that if you have endometriosis on the vaginal canal, that you can have pain upon entry. I have really, really bad pain at my vaginal opening. And they've always said that's an IBS symptom. No one has ever mentioned that that could be an endometriosis symptom. And obviously I get they're not doing it on purpose, like they just don't know that's a thing. But like, come on, do better. Women are suffering. And y'all don't know anything about women? You only care about men? Fuck off.